G'day and welcome back to episode 4 here in Nuclearis once again. A new patch has been dropped and it has been updated. Lots of stuff has been added. I want to show you that and more as promised in my last episode. So all I'm doing now is I'm waiting for 1655 for the new boric acid to be delivered. It's a brand new feature in this update. And it has played around with the coding, obviously, and it's not so stable in this chemical update. So I may or may not have to restart again. Let me know in the comments on your decision by the time you watch the end of this episode so I can show you what is working and what isn't working, as well as what are the cause and effects of the different pumps and switches that, you, that have all been added. So let's just wait until this truck arrives and then we'll continue by opening up these boom gates, all that good jazz and more. So we'll just wait for that to happen and I'll be back in a sec. Here it comes, here comes our boric acid refill truck. Absolutely fantastic. I'm really keen to get some of this in because this is what we are controlling the heat in our core with pretty much only. We're not using our control rods, we're just using boric acid at the moment. So. He needs authorization to get in. It's a little bit laggy there. And oh, there we go, that's better. I'll see you upstairs in this new room just there. Here we go. So we're just coming into the chemical treatment room, which has got a new visual update. The walls, the textures, everything looks absolutely fantastic as always. Shout out to the solo dev, as always. But you may notice it's been extended and our boric acid tank has been moved over and shoved on down here because we got a new door. Let's go in and let's get this truck in to get all this new boric acid in. So let's come on over here. Hello there. Let's go and boop, open the barriers, let him on in. He'll drive right underneath us and we should be able to get a nice little view through this grate. Here he comes. Good engine animation as well. So this... This pump or this motor right here should just drop that pipe right down to the bottom of it when we actually tell it to by clicking that button right there. There it goes with a nice little click sound and then what you need to do depending on what you've got, I have boric acid which will be the brown pipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick that open, show you quickly where they both go. So obviously the brown one goes to the boric and then the white goes up and over into the sodium hydroxide. So that's how you can both fill them up. Do not mix them together. That wouldn't be too good. You're just cancelling each other out and you're making a lot of salt and boron pretty much. Don't do that. Don't be a boron. So from there, turn the pump on. And because I'm in my old save, which is technically broken, I've obviously don't have that pump installed. Tried everything, but that's exactly how you would fill that up that way. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to deactivate, disconnect, and all that sorts of stuff. And then I'm going, as that truck drives away, let's just watch him drive away quickly. It should come out over here somewhere. There he is through there, the grate. I need to start a new save because I've already filled up all of the tanks and stuff using the new pumps that I want to show you. So I'll wait for this truck to go out and then lock the place down so it's nice and safe. See ya, dude. Thanks for that. There we go. He's nice and clear of the barriers. So let's go ahead and just lower them. There we go. Nice and secure. So let's go and start a new save very quickly. Alrighty then. Here we are in a brand new save so I can show you all the cause and effects, what they do, what they fill up, what they empty, what you need to do so you're able to put more boric acid in as well as how to purge any of the tanks that you may need to throughout your facility operation. So let's just go ahead and turn all of these panels on and I'll show you what's available to see up here first with these switches as well as the gauges and stuff down the bottom in the chemicals room as well. So there's the same sort of switches located in both rooms and I'm going to show you what they actually do right here. So we'll start with the external primary. This one right here, we'll work our way off to the right, just like we're reading, why not? So this external primary pump, let's just turn it on right now. This will start filling the tank at the water's edge all the way outside on the actual, yeah, the water's edge that you can just see right there. So that just allows you to pull more water in 
from wherever you need to to fill up tanks that I'm going to show you in just a second. So we'll just go ahead and turn that one back off as that pretty much does just that. Just fills that up nice and easy. So the internal primary, we'll just turn this one on and this does quite a few things. First of all, it fills up your internal reservoir and empties your external reservoir at the same time as you can see. So that's dropping and that should be starting to rise very soon when it starts working through the pipes and actually gets to the internal reservoir, which is the one right here. That is very important to know which is your internal and which is your external because your core inner vessel drains to your internal coolant tank, that one there. Make sure you know that for the future because if this is too full or completely full, you won't be able to put any boric acid into your internal vessel to control the temperature and all that sorts of stuff like I'm doing in my season. To empty the internal vessel out to make room for boric acid, just go ahead and open your RCV valve, which will start filling up that condensate storage tank. To empty it out, just go ahead and just open the purge. So it will then start emptying out this internal reservoir, making room for this to be emptied into this. Make sure that is known, okay? That's really important to know because if you're trying to empty this out using your RCV valve and nothing's happening, it's probably because this is completely full and the water can't go anywhere. So just go ahead and open that purge valve and then that'll start emptying out and you should be as good as gold. You should be able to have more room for boric acid and all that sorts of stuff. So this is obviously still dropping down, no problems. Let's just turn this off because that one is raising, as I said. And then if we want to increase our internal core vessel, we can just turn on the feed water circuit and that pulls from an unlimited water source. It doesn't pull from any tank around the facility whatsoever. The same as when you fill your condenser up using this pump, it also pulls from an unlimited water source. So those are those four switches available and those gauges right there. There's a couple downstairs, including the water reserve, this one here, and two other gauges I don't think are working just yet, or at least properly in my current save. So we'll just go downstairs into the chemical treatment room, get that panel on and stuff. All right, there we go, just turn that on. Good, good. All right, so as you can see, there's the same sort of pumps right here, but your internal primary pump will also do a few other things. If you come up here and open up the valve on your water reserve yellow tank and go out here and open up the external core coolant tank valve, that one right there, and turn on that exact same internal pump, this one right here, it will actually start filling those up. So that's represented by the yellow tank just above me right now by this one here. And we've got that external reservoir that should be just off to the left. But these two gauges show the exact same thing. And I don't think it's supposed to be doing that, whether it, it might be a percentage that might make more sense. But obviously the gauge upstairs showed like 15,000 litres or 150,000 litres. And this only shows like 85 or something. So there may be something wrong with that one. But that's how you fill all that up. It's turned orange because it hasn't come up to value yet. When it is green, it is at 100% and it is working as it should. So that's pretty much just about all the sorts of stuff that's been added. When you're finished, make sure you go ahead and close the valves because when you go and actually clean out all your boric acid with that cleaning pump and you need the, the sodium hydroxide to go through it to actually neutralize it and make it more effective to raise it back up to 100% capacity, um, the water will actually increase temperature by a lot and cause a lot of problems. So make sure you also close both of those valves at the same time. And that is just about all that I think of that has been added. Uh, as I said in the comments below, make sure you let me know if I should continue the old save or just start a new one and you want to see it from scratch with the new update as it gets released, etc, etc. 
or if I should even do both of them at the same time and just see how long the old season in episode five will carry out with the boric acid I have at the moment in my facility only. So just let me know, but always make sure you like, comment, subscribe for that YouTube algorithm and to let me know you like the video and you want to see more of this sort of Nucleares videos. Till then, stay sharp as always. See ya!